Hi there and welcome back to the Baldman Motors YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be reviewing my 2005 C55 AMG after having owned it for about five months. I didn't want to review it right away like many YouTubers until I had a chance to drive it more and see how it's been to live with, so let's get into the video. Some of you may have noticed that I recently started posting more frequently. Well, good news, I will be posting videos Monday and Thursday at 8.30 a.m., so twice a week from now on. I already have the next 20 or so videos planned out and several are already uploaded, just awaiting their schedule release, so please subscribe to see more AMG and German car videos. Yes. Also, don't forget about the giveaway Bosch 010 intercooler pump that fits many Mercedes ending on February 28th of 2022. To enter, comment below what AMGs you have had or currently own or what AMGs you would like to own in the future. The winner will be announced during the end of the month Q&A video. More details in the description below. The C55 AMG has been hailed the most reliable AMG and is one of the top contenders for what I consider to be the best first AMG for most buyers. I think this C-Class is in the bottom of the depreciation curve and has popularity, rarity, and driving experience are keeping it from dropping much lower. Oh yeah, and of course, YouTubers like myself that just won't shut up about it. Many smaller families and younger individuals prefer a smaller car than the E-Class and S-Class, and AMG stuffing their 5.4 liter V8 into this small chassis created an ideal candidate for those who wanted the AMG experience over the Audi S4 and BMW M3 of the era. This AMG is a great choice over the 340 horsepower V8 S4, and as only 1,750 C55s were imported into North America, it is much more rare than the 63,000 E46 M3s imported, thus rarely seen on the road. This 3,540 pound, 362 horsepower Mercedes C-Class has a power to weight ratio of 9.77 pounds per horsepower, a sub five seconds zero to 60, placing it firmly between my W210 and W211 E55s in acceleration. The Efalterbach one-man, one-engine built, naturally aspirated three-valve aluminum V8 has 376 foot-pounds of torque, 44 more than its C32 predecessor, and the same torque number as the 5-liter V10 used in the Lamborghini Gallardo. The decidedly slow shifting by modern standard 722.6 five-speed automatic transmission is a rather dependable unit. Just make sure to keep it properly maintained, and it should give many years and miles of tire shredding use. My C55 currently has around 192,000 miles on the clock, and my example has not had an easy life. Yet this car is still a blast to drive, and even with my family of five and a trunk full of groceries, still manages to break traction. The number of surprising looks and questions and compliments about it I get far exceeds my two E55s and former C32 combined. Now my car is a little louder than stock, but most people see this as just another old C-Class, and when it goes screaming by, or even just idles a bit different, they get very curious. Giving away this W203's underhood prominence is the C55 and AMG badging on the rear, quad AMG chrome tipped exhaust exits, CLK AMG front clip and headlights, and two piece front grills settled into the AMG meshed front bumper. Yes, my C55's bumper looks like it got in a fight with a chipper shredder and lost, but a few well placed zip ties has kept it from entirely losing its menace when seen in a rear view mirror. Fuel mileage as well. Perfectly in line with what you would expect for a V8 rated at 14 city and 20 highway. I averaged 19 miles per gallon driving to town and back and on my 1000 mile move averaged 22.3 on the freeway. Overall, I find it gets better mileage than my E55s and I press down on the right pedal quite frequently. Interior wise, the C55 received AMG branded instrument cluster, shift buttons on the leather wrapped steering wheel with thumb grips, manual transmission mode, much firmer Alcantara shouldered AMG badge seats, AMG embroidered floor mats, and door sills, and metallic interior trim. The center stack is also a bit more modern in these later W203s as well. I like the center armrest having a dual hinge lid opening in either direction. Now for the driving experience. It does understeer a bit under very hard cornering, perhaps a fault of my tires, but for most sporty driving it is great. Easy to manage and is well planted and has great stability at high speeds. Great braking is provided by front Brembo four piston calipers, clamping down on 13.6 inch rotors along with 11 inch rear rotors and two piston rear calipers. I do recommend better brake pads for multiple high speed slowdowns, but still these calipers do a great job overall. Okay, let's talk reliability. The drivetrain is pretty reliable overall, save for the common alternator failures, oil leaks like valve cover gaskets, rear main, and oil filter housing seals, and one of the common problems in high mileage examples is the lifter tick like my C55 has. Many common W203 issues still exist and my C55 is a great example of a poorly maintained one. So we get to go over what breaks. I guess uh, that's good for you all watching. 
The power steering wheel does not go up or down due to broken plastic dog bones that is hard to replace. The stepper motors are going out on mine that control the HVAC airflow, so if you hear a clicking sound on your dash, they may need to be replaced. My rear shade had something broken and is stuck in the upright position. The rear center seat belt gets locked up if you fold the seats down. My headlights constantly have ballast and igniter issues, so I will likely need to be replacing them soon, and the LEDs in the mirror show faults frequently as they have moisture in them. These buttons on the steering wheel like to lose their silver finish, and my center armrest has a broken level adjustment latch. The sunroof leaked in the past and the headliner is feeling the effects of wind and gravity. I am not sure if all of these issues are common in every C55, but I do recommend watching more specific W203 common problems videos to get into the more nitty and gritty details. Nothing too major so far and I would certainly suggest getting a well care for example as that will save you a lot of money and headache long term. I traded my decent condition C32 and $375 for this C55, so for me it was an okay deal as these C55s are usually quite a bit more expensive and I happen to like the V8 quite a bit more. It has a little bit more character when you drive it, I guess. Anyways, if you own a C55, send a picture to baldmanmotorstipline at gmail.com if you would like for it to be featured at the end of the month Q&A video. I would appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you to all the new subscribers and for watching today's video. And until next time, bye for now.